All right, guys, here's my uh, mom's walker that I finally got apart. Wasn't too difficult. I just had to drill out some rivets using the proper bit. Um, basically, you just need a drill bit. There's the old rivets that came out. Make sure you use the right one or you won't get them out properly. Unscrewed the wheels. They were... Uh, uh, held on by these bolts that were pressed in. Uh, this is the cross piece that I drilled. I had to take it off um, so that I could make it a little bit wider. Uh, this is the locking device that goes to this cross piece. I had to drill a rivet out of there to get it to slide off. So here's the final piece that I want to use. Uh, these bottom pieces this one actually had a uh, rubber stopper in it I took it out I'm gonna probably uh, use the insert this one has an insert where the wheel went to strengthen the end of the tubing I'm gonna take the one out of the other side there and put it in over here that way when I put the bolt through it uh, it'll be a little more sturdy when it attaches to the deck hinge so that's it, and believe it or not, <laughs> I don't know how I can show you on this video, but it is the perfect height that goes right just below my belly button and right above my pelvic bone. So I think it'll be the perfect height for the uh, kayak. I can also uh, extend the bottom legs using uh, longer pieces if I need to. I might have to play with a little bit and then once I get the height set I'll take that adjustable pin out and probably put a stainless bolt through there. So let me show you how it fits on the yak. Alright here it is on my Hobie Outback. Um, basically on the Hobie model it fits right above the front hatch so you can have it laid down and open the front hatch um, this fits perfect I can I can mount it right in front of my front rod holders it's a little bit narrow I just have to bend it out a few inches on either side which shouldn't be too difficult and it won't stress these bends any if at all here's the cross piece I took off it'll be a little bit um, too wide for down here I can move it up to where it fits you know higher up maybe put a pool noodle around it to where I can uh, do something with or better yet once once I figure out exactly where it's mounted I can make another cross member right across here I can either use this one since it's already bent and molded, just cut it in half and sleeve it with a one inch piece of aluminum pipe and just put a couple screws or bolts through it. So I intend to reuse this because it fits perfectly uh, rather than have to make a new one. Um, may use it up here and then put another brace down here. I don't think I'll need one down here because right around in, in this area is where I'm going to attach the uh, brackets that are going to fit somewhere back here I don't know where yet I'll have to look at the uh, Hobie model to see where it um, actually fits but so there it is looks like it's going to be a successful project and uh, all I need now is my deck hinges and we'll be set to go we'll try it out part two to come